Hi everyone, welcome to the part 2 of the WhatsApp and SMS language abbreviations or contractions we used in the previous video. In case you missed that video, please find the link below in the description in order to watch it and have a thorough idea of the complete series. So let's start with part 2. First, and the word which is highly used, yes, highly used in English these days, specifically if you read novels, newspapers, magazines, etc. The word is ain't, yes, ain't. And the reason of its wide usage is its varying meanings, yes. Its meanings are actually five, yes. Is not, are not, am not, has not and have not. Yes, let's take them one by one. Is not. She is not willing to help you. She ain't willing to help you. They are not coming to the party. They ain't coming to the party. I am not finishing this work today. I ain't finishing this work today. These three for is, am and are. Coming to the different tense, that is perfect tense, has not and have not. Words like, I have not talked to her today. I ain't talked to her today. She has not given my book. She ain't given my book. Simple. Now, a lot of people come to me and I am sure this doubt will arise in your mind as well that how would you identify whether ain't has been used for is not or are not or am not. Let me make it clear for you. Guys, if it is ain't and you find she before it, so it is definitely either for is not or has not. Same way if you find they before ain't, so this ain't has been used either for are not or for have not. So this will clear the confusion and if you are confused between has not and is not, like she ain't covered the area. So because there is third form after ain't that is covered, so this is has not. While if we say she ain't willing to help, so there is ing after ain't, so this is for is not. Simple, if you find third form of the verb, it will be has not or have not. Or if you find ing or any noun, then it will be is not, am not or are not. Simple and understood? I hope you would be able to use it easily. Coming to next and again a word with multiple usages. The word is watcher. Yes, watcher. Again, it has multiple uses. Number one, what are you? Yes, like what are you doing today? Watcher doing today. What are you cooking for dinner? Watcher cooking for dinner. Isn't it simple? Coming to number two, what do you? Yes. What do you? Let's take an example. What do you think of her project? Whatcha think of her project? Great. What do you do during your free time? Whatcha do during your free time? Such a long sentence is converted into such a short and simple sentence. Last usage of whatcha that is what have you? Yes. What have you done today? Whatcha done today? What have you cooked for dinner? Whatcha cooked for dinner? Simple. So what are you? What do you? And what have you? Great again. Coming to number three in the series is Lotsa. Yes, Lotsa. As the name suggests, Lotsa. So it is used instead of lots of. Yes, like, can you do me a favor? The person replies, no, I have lots of work today. So he can say, I have lots of work today. Simple. Do you have some money? No, I have lots of money. That means I have lots of money. I hope everyone can say that. Okay. Coming to number four and a word commonly used by people again, which is sorta. Yes. Sorta, which means sort of. Yes. Hi. Can I talk to you? Well, can we talk later? I am sort of busy today. So she can say, I am sort of busy today. Simple, sort of. Number five is 
outer yes outer outer stands for out of yes out of like it seems very horrific we should get out of here yes so it seems very horrific horrific means something which scares you so it seems very horrific we should get out of here right are you running out of money or are you running out of money great coming to number 6 and a word which most of people do not know it's ima yes ima ima means i am going to imagine four words contracted into one ima yes like i am going to finish the project today ama going to finish the project today i am going to take the step ama going to take this step isn't it great so many words are contracted in such small number of words which is good not just for speaking but for understanding as well so we'll finish this video by the last word of the day any guesses let me give you the word i'm sure you already have an idea it's give me yes give me which stands for give me okay let's take an example for this too can you give me that glass so can you give me that glass will you give me some money will you give me some money simple again so guys i hope the video was helpful do not forget to like to the video because i'm sure you'll find lots of words in future as well in my videos so please subscribe to the channel for so many words to come in future as well and yes in case you like this video please share it with your friends your colleagues your neighbors your community nobody would mind getting so many good words at one place so make sure you share it as well i'll see you very soon till then take care all the best and keep learning keep growing thank you very much